Eastern America here. Please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Hit that notification bell. Well, I got started too early. I'm sorry about this. Uh, I am very sorry about this. Uh, but let me show you uh, what is going on. Uh, I've got a John Deere uh, LA-15 uh, uh, lawnmower. And I did just pull out the battery. Uh, now, I do not... The, let me explain. This is uh, you probably heard about this stuff. Uh, CCA, that's the cold crank amps 300. Uh, and 300 is good, better. Uh, this is an old battery. It did last me a couple years, but I did have to charge it. It's a it's a 12 volt battery, um, and it has the information on here. Uh, this is the one that lasted me a few years, but I did have to help it through. Um, I had to help it uh, get by. I had to help it get by uh, by um, putting my charger on it. Now, uh, from what I understand, and uh, and I did this with my Harley Davidson Road King Custom 05. I hope to show you that. Um, I was thinking about putting two wheels. I mean, three wheels on that and um this is a uh, a woodland garage so uh don't uh think ill of me when you look behind me i'm in the woods i'm definitely in the woods uh i show you the woods um i mean i got some stuff going on that you wouldn't believe and we got pine trees 200 feet tall uh so i i'm, I'm always this is not my um current residence um but anyway i i do live here a little bit um i have to keep an eye on my place uh just to know but moving right along uh i want to talk about the battery terminal um this is the, the new one i got uh if you look it, it uh, if you can look a little upside down it's uh u1p it's a 275 uh, cold crank amps, uh, so that's not as good quality as the 300, which is preferred. Um, but I, I did do this years ago, and uh, I think this this might be helpful. Uh, what you can do is you could you could uh, get a um, a battery tender. Some people call them battery warmers. Uh, I used to have one on my Harley Davidson Road King 05. And I, I think something happened to the battery warmer, uh, the tender. Uh, it, it was plugged in all the time. And that's what it's designed for, to keep the battery warm during the winter time, so you don't lose your charge and, and the battery go dead. Um, but, but I have a battery charger, and uh, this is a brand new battery uh, that I have uh, brought in here. Uh, so, just to know, um, this is brand new. Uh, one thing I always do, I put the negative terminal. The negative terminal will have a minus. You can usually feel it, uh, and it'll be black. Uh, the red will be a plus. I have a plus. That's the positive terminal. And, and like here, it's a little helpful thing here. Um, grounding. You should always ground uh, your battery terminals, whether it's a truck or whatever. Ground it first. Uh, that's what the black cable is for, is for grounding. And uh, you don't have potential disasters with batteries. Um, people get hurt all the time. Batteries are risky no matter what. So it has nothing to do with uh, whether you are um, one thing or another. Uh, it has it has no diff. It just it can be dangerous. Batteries can be dangerous. And um, you know just to know um, they can explode. And and uh, I have a. Uh, a friend that had a, a, a explosion in his face, and it wasn't battery related, but he was next to a battery victim, uh, and um, it wasn't his face; it was hand, his hand. Sorry, and uh, but uh, batteries can be disastrous, so be careful with a battery. I should have eye protection on. I I do have I do have some eye protection I brought with me. I just I need to put it on. Uh, I'm about I'm about to connect a red terminal. Uh, but I do need to wear glasses too, uh, my reading glasses, just to know. Um, but we're going to do this thing uh, now. Now, one thing I want to talk about: uh, you need some tools. Um, you need these socket wrenches. 
this is what you need. You're, you're really not going to be doing very well with the teeth in of the socket wrench. And, and you need to know. Now, I'm in the U.S. of A. Uh, I don't know about your country, but uh, here, uh, the, the, I use a 10. A 10 socket. Let's see if you can see 10. One zero. It's not zero one, it's one zero. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to connect. Stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. Okay, folks, so I'm I'm using a 10. Uh, let me flip it over. Thanks to my friends in China for making this product. Uh, but it's I'm using the socket portion to connect these. Uh, remember, if you're new to this sort of thing and, or a novice, uh, just remember... Uh, right to tighten, left to loosen. Uh, so just remember that expression, left to loosen, right to tighten. Uh, it's kind of easy because the two L's, loosen and left. Uh, left to loosen, right to tighten. So uh, when I tighten the terminals, I, I go to the right, uh, and I've, I've got to, I got to, I've got to put a, I'm not getting it too tight anyway, but I'm getting it tight enough that it doesn't vibrate. I can guarantee you that. Uh, I'm going to tighten this some more, uh, but I'm going to connect these terminals. Uh, I'm going to, but always the negative first, and then uh, we're going to connect the positive terminal last. Uh, again, to to prevent uh, safety incidents that may require 911 or uh, burn or medical treatment. And again, you should use eye protection. Uh, in this case, I'm I'm wrong and I'm using my glasses, but I should be wearing eye protection. Uh, um, but anyway, I pray for us all that we're safe all the time. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, okay, folks. Eastern America here. Please subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. So you can see that I have connected the terminals very tight. Not too tight because this battery is going to have to be replaced at another occasion down down a year i i think because this is a 275 uh cca that it, it's uh w but now with the battery warmer that i'm about to order i had one before like i said it does work i'm thinking i could get five years out of this battery but you know with the 275 and winter time it gets cold here in the southeast uh of america it, it could be um it can it can deaden the battery if it's not uh, warmed or, or tendered or charged, uh, and and I I usually go through this every year. I have to put a battery charger on it. But here's the safety boot uh, for the positive terminal. So this thing we're gonna start it up. Hopefully it's not a spark plug or something else. Uh, I'm gonna check my oil uh, off camera. Well I could do it now. It should be settled. It should be settled. So I shouldn't have to wipe it. Let's see how bad it is. It's all it's down to the add oil mark. Uh let's see. Let me get my camera on here. There it is. It's down to the add oil, so I I'm gonna wipe it, but it looks like it's down to the add oil. I can at least mow my yard. Uh, but I need to put a cord in as soon as possible. So that's done. Okay, and uh we'll talk about tires. Tires, let's check them out. Look at these tires. Don't think you got a flat tire because you come out here to mow your yard and um it it looks like it's flat these things remember tires lose air so what we're talking about is you just need to get your compressor uh now mine's a very old compressor and i'm going to air up these tires i'm going to start this thing up and i'm going to pull it out and i'm going to plug in my compressor uh so stay tuned uh because i'm about to mow my yard okay Stay tuned.
right to tighten, left to loosen. And uh, I was pointing at the gloves er earlier. Uh, those gloves are important, you know. Uh, electrical gloves, probably better. Uh, leave me your thoughts uh, on that. And lastly, I'm going to get my COVID mask for, you know, for inhalations. I don't inhale debris. Those masks, I got so many of them saved up. I'll use that for mowing. Anyway, Eastern America here. My tires are aired up. And everything's looking good. It's time for me to get mowing, my friends. So, key points. Uh, the troubleshooting techniques, the lawnmower. Uh, I always unplug this. Uh, a lot of these have this there. Don't forget to put your knobs back on. Back on your uh, your stems back on. Here, still carrying the one from the first tire. Okay, so. But um, anyway, uh, make sure you got gas. Make sure you got oil. I check my oil. I got to get some gas and oil. So that goes on my list of things to do. Uh, other than that, um, I'm gonna get mowing. I think I covered everything. The troubleshooting was the battery problem. Uh, could be a spark plug though, but uh, usually battery. And then lastly, uh, don't worry about your tires so often. Don't take them, put them on a trailer and take them to someone to plug them when they don't need to be plugged. All they need to be is aired up, especially if you let it sit through the winter for a couple months. Okay. Eastern America here. Please subscribe. Please like, please share. Hit that notification bell. And bye for now.